আমরা চ্যাপ্টার থ্রিটা হচ্ছে দেখেছিলাম লাস্ট ক্লাসে সো লাস্ট ক্লাসে চ্যাপ্টার থ্রিতে আমরা প্রোডাকশন পসিবিলিটি ফ্রন্ট এন্ড নিয়ে দেখেছিলাম আমরা দুইটা পার্টি নিয়ে মেনলি ডিসকাস করেছিলাম ওয়ান ওয়াজ ফার্মার ওয়ান ওয়াজ র্যাঞ্চার সো আমরা মেনলি দেখার চেষ্টা করেছিলাম যে দুইজনের প্রোডাকশন পসিবিলিটি ফ্রন্ট এয়ারটা কেমন হয় আর ট্রেড কেন ভালো ওয়াই স্পেশালাইজেশন ইস ইন ট্রেড ইস ইম্পর্টেন্ট এটা নিয়ে আমরা ডিসকাস করেছিলাম প্রোডাকশন পসিবিলিটি ফ্রন্ট এয়ার কনজামশন পসিবিলিটি ফ্রন্ট এয়ার এই দুটো দেখেছি আর কেন ট্রেডে আসলে যাওয়া উচিত এটা দুটা কম্পারিজনের মাধ্যমে আমরা দেখেছিলাম এই পর্যন্ত যারা ক্লাসে ছিলেন তাদের বুঝতে কারো কোনো সমস্যা চ্যাপ্টার থ্রিতে কত ক্লাসে যে পড়েছিলাম টপিক সবাই বাসায় দেখেছিলেন সো চ্যাপ্টার থ্রি ফার্স্ট হাফে কোনো প্রবলেম নেই যতটুকু আমি পড়েছি তাহলে আজকে আমরা চ্যাপ্টার থ্রি বাকি টপিকগুলো আমি ডিসকাস করবো যারা নতুন এসেছেন আমি গ্রুপে আমাদের ভিডিওগুলো আপলোড করে দিই পোস্ট করে দিই ইউটিউবে যেগুলো আপলোড হয় হুম ওকে ফ্রম হুইচ কান্ট্রি সো মাই সো ইউ আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড ইংলিশ ওকে দেন আই উইল কন্ট্যাক্ট দ্য ক্লাস ইন ইংলিশ অ্যান্ড বাংলা অ্যাজ ওয়েল ওকে ওকে সো দোজ হু আর নিউ ইউ নিড টু সি দ্য ভিডিওজ অন ইউটিউব ওকে সো আই পোস্ট দ দোজ অন আওয়ার হোয়াটসঅ্যাপ গ্রুপ সো রেগুলার আই রেগুলারলি পোস্ট দোজ সো ওয়াচ দোজ ওকে ইফ ইউ হ্যাভ এনি প্রবলেম দেন কন্ট্যাক্ট উইথ মি আই উইল টেক আ রিভিউ ক্লাস সো ডোন্ট ওয়ারি ফর চ্যাপ্টার ওয়ান টু অ্যান্ড থ্রি দোজ হু আর কামিং নিউ সো রিভিউ ক্লাস উইল বি আফটার মিট অর বিফোর ফাইনালস ডিপেন্ডিং অন হোয়াট ইউ আর কমফোর্টেবল উইথ ওকে এর আগের স্লাইডটা আচ্ছা এইখান থেকে মনে হয় ওকে সো টুডেজ টপিক ইজ অ্যাবাউট কম্পারেটিভ অ্যাডভান্টেজ সো ইন দ্য লাস্ট ক্লাস উই সো অ্যাবাউট দ্য প্রোডাকশন পসিবিলিটি ফ্রন্টিয়ার হাউ উই ক্যান রিলেট দ্য প্রোডাকশন পসিবিলিটি ফ্রন্টিয়ার উইথ কনজামশন পসিবিলিটি ফ্রন্টিয়ার অ্যান্ড ওয়াই ট্রেড ইজ ইম্পর্টেন্ট ওয়াই স্পেশালাইজেশন ইন ট্রেড ইজ ইম্পর্টেন্ট সো আওয়ার টুডেজ টপিক ইজ অ্যাবাউট কম্পারেটিভ অ্যাডভান্টেজ অ্যান্ড দ্য ড্রাইভিং ফোর্স অফ দ্য ট্রেড মেনলি হেয়ার উইল সি অ্যাবাউট থ্রি টপিকস লাস্ট ক্লাস আই টোল্ড ইউ ফার্স্ট ওয়ান ইজ অ্যাপসোলিট অ্যাডভান্টেজ So first we will discuss about the absolute advantage, then comparative advantage and opportunity cost. Why we should talk about absolute advantage first? Okay. Do you have any idea what is absolute advantage? Did, did you? Yeah. Mm, not the highest amount actually. It is called, yes, using fewer inputs, producing something. Yeah. kind of that is that okay so when a producer can produce a product or a good using minimum or few or less input then it would be called absolute advantage of that producer okay clear do i need to repeat in bangla as well or you can understand english everyone clear okay so absolute advantage we'll call it when a producer say for a farmer can farmer can produce like uh, in if you see our previous example we have farmer and rancher right so our input was hour one hour for say so within one hour <coughs> farmer could produce three potatoes and rancher could produce two potatoes for say but what if a farmer needs two hours to produce one ounce of meat and rancher only need 1 hour to produce 1 ounce of meat then who have the absolute advantage of producing meat sure why i said fewer inputs the input here is time when a producer can use a fewer input and produce maximum output then we'll call that producer have absolute advantage so here input is time right so within okay with within 2 hours farmer can produce 1 ounce of meat within 1 hour rancher can produce 1 ounce of meat okay that was shortcut for 1 ounce of meat okay then we have absolute advantage in the rancher has absolute advantage in meat clear why because he is using only one hour so he is using less input than the farmer the farmer needs two hours to produce one ounce of meat but the rancher needs only one hour to produce one ounce of meat that means he is using rancher is using less input to produce the same amount of output 
So when a producer will use fewer input to produce some good, then we will call that producer has absolute advantage for that product. Okay. So it's clear what's absolute advantage. Okay. So the main thing is a producer, a person or a country can have absolute advantage in many ways, in many goods. For say USA. So USA is good in many things, right? They are good in RMG as well as automobile as well as food items. So compared to Bangladesh, if you see, <clears throat> if you only see about automobile and food, USA is good in automobile and food compared to Bangladesh. With fewer time, they can produce more than Bangladesh. They have more resource, more inputs, right? So they need more or less inputs like they need more uh, little time or they need like little employees or labor to produce the same amount of automobile and food that Bangladesh need. So we can say that USA has absolute advantage in food and as well as automobile because they need less inputs, they need less labor, less time, less like materials to produce automobile and food than Bangladesh. So USA have both absolute advantage in automobile as well as in food, both. So See, a country can have competitive advantage in both ways, in both product. It's not necessary that country will have to have only one competitive advantage in one product. Sorry, absolute advantage in one product. So they can have absolute advantage in many products compared to other country. Now, if we compare Bangladesh with any uh, underdeveloped country than Bangladesh, so what it can be? For say some country in Africa, okay, so less developed than Bangladesh. So they also can produce food, they also can produ produce automobile, but Bangladesh can do that better. With fewer input, Bangladesh need less labor, less time to produce same amount of automobile food that the African country needs. So we can see, say that Bangladesh has absolute advantage in both food and automobile than Africa. So see where the pattern goes, a country can have absolute advantage in many goods compared to another country. So here we are comparing with rancher or farmer, but actually in real world, we compare with, within countries, among countries. So it's clear what is absolute advantage. So in this example, if we see the earlier example, so what would be the absolute advantage for the farmer and rancher? Our input was 8 hours, right, for both. If we can recall the previous example, right, the first example I give you. So the input was time 8 hours. But within 8 hours, the farmer could produce how much? Don't you have any writing or something? Or else I have to go back. See the graph. Or if you have anything on your mobile. For farmer, meat 8 ounces and 32 ounces. Okay, and for the rancher, 24 and 48, right? Okay, so input. Input is time, 8 hours. So the input was same for both of them, right? 8 hours. But within these 8 hours, the farmer could produce 8 ounces of meat and rancher could produce 24 ounces of meat. So who has comparative advantage in producing meat here? What do you think? Comparative. Yeah, sorry, absolute advantage in producing meat. Bakira, Shabai, what? Rancher or farmer? 
who has the absolute advantage in producing meat? Time came to same. The time is 8 hours, right? Rancher. Because he can produce more in less hours than the farmer, right? Absolute advantage. And if we look at the potato, then who has the absolute advantage in producing potato here? Farmer or rancher? Also rancher, right? Because the farmer could produce only 32 with the same input. So you see the point. It's with fewer input when a producer can produce more than another producer. Then we'll say that producer have absolute advantage on that product. Clear? Okay, next slide. Now here comes the opportunity cost. How, why opportunity cost is here again? I'm like the first chapter, right? In the first chapter we discussed about our opportunity cost. So what is opportunity cost? Can anyone recall? When we are choosing something over another thing, right? When we are giving up something to get another thing, that would be called our opportunity cost. So, if we see this example about the rancher and farmer, then what would be their opportunity cost? <clears throat> okay. Okay. Now, Opportunity cost we are saying about opportunity cost because it's related to competitive advantage. We need to understand competitive advantage and absolute advantage to understand why we should do trade. We are discussing that trade is good for everyone, trade is good for every country, and I'm trying to prove why we should do trade. I'm a first time proof right about the rancher and farmer, why we should go for trade, not only consume and produce for ourselves. Competitive and absolute advantage, we are again discussing it to prove that trade is better off for everyone, trade is good for everyone. So back to the competitive advantage. In absolute advantage, we said fewer input, maximum output, right? So competitive advantage deal with opportunity cost, okay? So the ability to produce a product with less opportunity cost, that would be known as competitive advantage less opportunity cost. So now we have to understand when there will be a less opportunity cost. It's less opportunity cost. Right? So competitive advantage is the ability to produce. Produce with less opportunity cost. The Ability to produce with less opportunity cost. Jokhon ekta producer ekta product produce korbe, anoi product ta less opportunity cost thakbe. Tokhon amra bolbo that's competitive advantage. Clear? Kyo jide na bujhen. If you don't understand anything, please raise your hand. Okay? Amu ta abar repeat korbo. I will repeat that again. Acha. Competitive advantage is simply when a producer or a product produced by a producer. So, if you look at the product produced, the opportunity cost is high or low. If the opportunity cost is high or low, then the agent is clear that the less opportunity cost is high. Then, I want to produce a pencil or pen. So, to produce a pen, how much I have to give up? For say, to I can produce this pen in one hour, but I can also produce two juice in one hour, okay? If I give up pen, then I am choosing juice, right? So in one hour, I can produce two juice, but if I give up juice, then I am producing only one pen for one hour. Then what do you think? Opportunity cost is less when, there, when the situation is there, there is a less opportunity cost. What do you think? What should I choose? Juice. Why? Logical sense, we should choose juice, right? Now, I can produce two juice in one hour, right? So if I am give up in, like giving up one pen, then I am giving up less. 
একটা পেনের বদলে আই আই এম গেটিং টু জুস বাই গিভিং আপ ওয়ান পেন আই এম গেটিং টু জুস আই ক্যান প্রডিউস টু জুস বাট ইফ আই গিভ আপ মাই জুস দেন হোয়াট উইল হ্যাপেন দুইটার এগেনস্টে একটা পাচ্ছি সো এখানে আমার প্রফিটটা কম না আই এম চুজিং ওয়ান পেন ওভার টু জুস সো হোয়ার ইজ মাই প্রফিট উইল বি লেস রাইট মাই প্রোডাকশান উইল বি লেস সো আমার কি কম্পারেটিভ অ্যাডভান্টেজ আমার বেশি না মানে আমার স্পেশালাইজেশনটা কি তাহলে জুসে না বিকজ উইদ ইন ফিউ আওয়ার্স আই ক্যান প্রডিউস মোর জুস দেন পেন সো ইফ আই কন্টিনিউ প্রডিউসিং জুস দেন আই মাই প্রোডাক্টিভিটি উইল বি মোর আই ক্যান প্রডিউস মোর জুস দেন পেন সো ইফ আই কন্টিনিউ প্রডিউসিং জুস দেন হোয়াট উইল হ্যাপেন অ্যাজ দিস ইজ মাই স্পেশালাইজেশন গ্রাউন্ড আই ক্যান ডু ইট বেটার দেন আই ক্যান প্রডিউস ইট মোর so that i can consume that means my country can consume and also i can export it etai to amar point chilo je ami jeta the best seta ami korbo keno karon ami jeta the best seta jodi ami kori tahole eta amar amount ta ami beshi korte parbo jokhon ami beshi korte parbo amar productivity bhalo hobe productivity bhalo hoa mane ki ami amar country er need fulfill koreo ami export e jete parbo that is why we need to choose the product with less opportunity cost when we will produce the product with less opportunity cost that would be known as our competitive advantage so eta bola hoy a country should choose that product to produce that product or a country should produce only that product which they have absolute advantage because with that they have less opportunity cost mm, absolute advantage will be compared between two countries or two persons right so there is no other country or person so apni compare ta kar sathe korben right to apni je nijer sathe koren tahole korte paren for say ami jodi boli ami i am the producer of pen and juice right producer so amar absolute advantage ta kothay where is my absolute advantage with same input i can produce more output right that's why the, my absolute advantage is also in juice and my competitive advantage is also in juice clear ekhon now where comes the difference difference ta kothay hoy dekhen for say t and hoche x there are two producers right t and x they are two producer so in one hour t can produce two juice in one hour x can produce three juice নাও এখানে আমাকে বলেন তো হু হ্যাজ দ্য অ্যাপসলুট অ্যাডভান্টেজ এক্স হ্যাজ দ্য অ্যাপসলুট অ্যাডভান্টেজ ওভার জুস রাইট অ্যান্ড হু হ্যাজ দ্য কম্পারেটিভ অ্যাডভান্টেজ অ্যামং দেম কম্পারেটিভ অ্যাডভান্টেজকে আমরা এইভাবে বলতে পারবো আমাদের আরেকটা কম্পোনেন্ট লাগবে না যে আমরা কেন নিব এখন আপনি যদি কম্পেয়ার করেন এই ফর দ্য সেম ওয়ান আওয়ার টি ক্যান প্রডিউস ওয়ান পেন in one hour x can produce two pen now tell me the difference who has the competitive advantage in what we have two product pen and juice pen and juice right so x has the competitive advantage in juice sure see jokhon when we will have two person on two product then we can compare about the absolute advantage or the competitive advantage absolute advantage will be when the producer a producer will have less input and can produce more output with that then we will say that producer have absolute advantage for that product only and competitive advantage will say when that a producer can produce a product with less opportunity cost that means jokhon ami je jinish ta give up korchi i am something giving up i am giving up something against what because that thing had less value and i'm choosing something that thing had more value that's why that will be called competitive advantage ami juice cano choose korlam because the pen has less value less opportunity cost if i let it go the profit will be less the i have lo- i have lost less of the profits but if i choose uh, if i left out the juice and choose the pen then what will happen i'm choosing one pen over two juice that means i am losing profit here more right my productivity is less 
because I can produce more juice. So my productivity is with juice, not without juice. That's why competitive advantage will, will be that when I am giving up something that has less value or that has less productivity, then I will say yes, my opportunity cost is with this product. Clear? And jokhon hoche less opportunity cost thakbe. And when there will be less opportunity cost of producing some product, I will be calling that competitive advantage. Ekhon amar less opportunity cost ki sham jodi juice nai na. So my less opportunity cost will be if I take juice. Because if I take two juice, then I am only letting go one pen. So that's less like less loss for me, right? So if I'm choosing two juice, then I can say my comparative advantage is with producing juice. So my, my compar the definition would be, I have the ability to produce juice because it has less opportunity cost for me. Clear? Any confusion? Arakbar chinta koren. Iktu slide gula grow through koren. Ekhane dakhen ji opportunity cost, ji slide dewa chhe. In this slide, it is given the previous examples about the rancher and the farmer. You read out the slides and see if you can understand it. If you don't, then tell me. Because I can't the previous example. I am going to the example that you easily understand. এখন দেখেন যে আগের एग्जांपलটার সাথে আপনারা কোনো ভাবে রিলেট করতে পারেন কিনা যদি মনে হয় যে মিস এই জায়গা বুঝছি না তাহলে আমি জিনিসটা এখন আপনাদেরকে আবার আমি বুঝিয়ে দিব বোর্ডে ঠিক আছে সো জাস্ট গো থ্রু দ্য উইথ দ্য एग्जांपल Turjo, next slide. Okay. Iragi uh, slide adento. Hmm. Acha. Acha. Example to see the This example was about the previous class. Previous class we discussed about one farmer and one rancher, right? So if you see the example here, it's saying farmer's opportunity cost. So where is the farmer's opportunity cost lies? Next slide then. Hmm. See here it said a farmer has the farmer has lower opportunity cost of producing potatoes. Why it said? <clears throat> Look at this. In previous class, we discussed that uh, this farmer needs 10 minutes to produce one ounce of potato and 20 minutes to produce one ounce of meat. Okay. So, if you see the calculation, if you see the calculation, this farmer needs twice time to produce the meat. In 10 minutes, he can produce one ounce of meat. In 20 minutes, he can produce one ounce of meat. That means, in 10 minutes, the farmer can produce one ounce of potato, but in 10 minutes, he can produce only half ounce of meat. Right? So, if we see this graph, then the farmer has less opportunity causing what? Less opportunity cost. 
Yes. One. It's one ounce. So less opportunity in one ounce of potato. That means the farmer has less opportunity cost in potato. So his competitive advantage is also in producing potatoes, right? Why? Because if he is choosing potato, he is only giving up half ounce of meat. The input is same, right? 10 minutes, 10 minutes. So within 10 minutes, of this farmer can produce one ounce of potato, but within 10 minutes, only half ounce of meat. So if he is choosing potato, he is letting go only half ounce of meat. But if he choose the meat, then he have to give up one ounce of potato. That is more costly, right? That is why the farmer has lower opportunity cost in potato. And this is the farmer's competitive advantage. <clears throat> now it is said that competitive, why a country should like trade? A country sh would be beneficial. Like we, when we will do trade? When a country will have competitive advantage in something? When I'm best at something, when I have competition, a competitive advantage on something, and I can produce more something than other country, then what will happen? Again, the same reason. I can produce more, I can consume more, I can consume for my own country, and then what will happen? I can export that so that I can earn foreign currency. Now, if we see at the, uh, if you look at the rancher, rancher, the house, okay. Mm. Duta pasha pasi dekha hai, thala apna the easy hobe. Acha. Kaha kosa mobile ta slide achhe? Mani mobile le. Amar to figure gula dekha lagde. Ami figure gula ekto boshay dena apna the time bujhe bichhe dam. Acha. Ekhon dekhen. 
কম্পিটিভ অ্যাডভান্টেজ অ্যান্ড অ্যাবসলিউট অ্যাডভান্টেজ অপরচুনিটি কস তিনটা একসাথে দেখি দেখেন টাইমটা কত আওয়ার ইনপুট ইস ফিফটিন মিনিটস অ্যান্ড সিক্সটি মিনিটস লুক অ্যাট দ্য ফার্মার উইদ ইন ফিফটিন মিনিটস হি ইজ প্রডিউসিং ওয়ান আউন্স পটেটো অ্যান্ড হি নিডস সিক্সটি মিনিটস টু প্রডিউস ওয়ান আউন্স অফ মিট দ্যাট মিনস ওয়ার্ড উইথ ইফ উই লাইক কম্বাইন দ্য ইনপুট ফর ফিফটিন মিনিটস হাউ মাচ মিট দিস ফার্মার ক্যান প্রডিউস ওয়ান ফোর্থ রাইট ইফ উই ডিভাইড ফিফটিন বাই সিক্সটি দেন ওয়ান ফোর্থ অফ মিট সো হোয়াট ইজ দ্য কন্ডিশন হিয়ার দিস ফার্মার নিডস ফিফটিন আওয়ার্স টু প্রডিউস ওয়ান আউন্স অফ পটেটো বাট হি অলসো নিডস ফিফটিন মিনিটস টু প্রডিউস ওয়ান ফোর্থ অফ মিট দ্যাট মিনস ইফ হি ইজ গিভিং আপ দ্য মিট দেন হি ক্যান grab more potatoes right but he is if he is choosing meat that means less potatoes for him so it's bad for him that means his productivity lies in potato what do you we say about the productivity what is productivity when a person can produce more with fewer or less inputs than other person right then that person has productivity on that product you to our classmates so within one hour you can finish one report and you can finish half of the report then who has the productivity of finishing report him right so productivity is when someone is doing something good than other person compared to few inputs or less input but the output is more so if we see this the farmer has productivity in potato because it, with less time or the same time he can produce more potato that means he has less opportunity cost in which choosing potato because he is giving up less meat if he choose potato that means he has comparative advantage in potato so the farmer has comparative advantage in potatoes right because he has less opportunity cost less opportunity cost now look at the rancher he needs 10 minutes to produce 1 ounce of potato 20 minutes to produce 1 ounce of meat so what does it mean if we com combine the 10 minute in 10 minutes he can produce half ounce of meat so he, what is his now comparative advantage what do you think remember when we compare about the comparative advantage we are comparing with other countries okay so if you, we conclude this the farmer and rancher for two countries then what would be the status compared to the farmer what would be the rancher's comparative advantage we have already found the farmer's comparative advantage right potatoes less opportunity cost with potatoes now if we see the example the rancher is also good in producing potato right within 10 minutes he can produce more potato but he can only produce half of the meat logically but if the rancher also choose potato then what will happen here is two countries let's just guess okay that we have only two countries one is farmer and one, one is rancher so these two countries are producing same goods then what will be the exchange what will the exchange where will be the trade but we want to do trade then what will happen if so the rancher have to leave potato but if he leaves potato is this a good decision for him to choose the meat why no but ekhon apnar dekhen you only have two two countries and we only have two option so someone have to choose potato someone have to choose meat because we have to trade the farmer if he gives up meat he has he is giving up mess, more potatoes less meat one fourth and this is half right so which means if the rancher choose meat then it's good for him because he is getting half of the meat against one ounce of potato but he have to give up one ounce of potato for only one fourth of meat that means if the farmer choose meat then his productivity is very low only one fourth of meat but if the rancher is producing meat then he will get half of the meat that means better than farmer right compared to farmer the rancher has absolute advantage in producing meat 
if we compare and now you, if you want to do trade and the rancher also choose potato then what will happen there will be no trade but look at the so our potato is off the table right we are seeing that they both are good in potatoes now the debate is who will produce the meat if the farmer try to produce the meat he will he can only produce one fourth of meat the same time and have to give up one ounce of potato if the rancher choose to produce the meat he only have to give up one ounce of potato against half that means he is getting more half is more than one fourth right so the rancher has that means competitive advantage in meat he should logically he should produce meat if he wants to trade because he is not good at potatoes the farmer is good at potatoes because he only have he is giving up one fourth of meat against one and he have to give half of the meat that means here his loss is here is more if he choose potato he has to lose more meat than the farmer right logic ta ki clear farmer kintu only quarter meat bad dite hocche one ounce of potato er jonno rancher er kintu half of the meat bad dite hobe one ounce of potato er jonno dui joner dike jodi compare kori farmer potato choose korle or jonno better karon or only quarter meat bad dite hoy rancher jodi dey tahole or potato produce kore labh nei karon farmer already eta te bhalo oi tei produce korche o jodi produce kore tahole kono trade hobe na first of all ar second of all hocche tar to only quarter chhatte hocche er to half chhe dite hobe সো আলটিমেটলি সে যদি এখানে হাফ প্রডিউস করে সে তো পটেটো দিয়ে ট্রেড করতে পারতেছে এখানে কিন্তু সে যদি পটেটো প্রডিউস করে সে এমনি এটাতে ভালো না সো আলটিমেটলি ট্রেডও হবে না আর তার যে খুব একটা প্রফিট হচ্ছে সেটাও না আলটিমেটলি সে লুজারি হচ্ছে দ্যাটস ওয়াই দ্য র্যাঞ্চার হ্যাজ কম্পারেটিভ অ্যাডভান্টেজ দ্যাট মিন্স কম্পারেটিভ অ্যাডভান্টেজ ইন মিট বিকজ ইট হ্যাজ লেস অপরচুনিটি কস্ট কম্পেয়ার টু ফার্মার ইন মিট দ্য র্যাঞ্চার হ্যাজ লেস অপরচুনিটি কস্ট so now we see how the run, country runs actually the decisions are made between countries when we will think about that we will think about countries clear any confusion about that why it has uh, the farmer has less opportunity cost in potato and why the rancher has less pot, uh, competitive advantage in meat opportunity cost ekhon ekhaner main hocche amader tahole sharmomo ta ki mane what is the summary of it the summary of it is a country should produce that product which he, that country has competitive advantage amra ekta country er competitive advantage er upor depend kore product produce korbo we will produce product for a country depending on the competitive advantage not absolute advantage a country can be good in many things a country can have absolute advantage in many products but the country sh- that country should choose to produce that product only which that country will have competitive advantage amra tar mane ki absolute advantage er upor base kore amra kokhono ekta country er kon product produce kora uchit seta amra decision e jabo na amra decision e jabo ekta country er competitive advantage kon product e beshi sei product e country er produce kora uchit if a country choose competitive advantage based on their product then what will happen that country will have a specialization amra competitive advantage ta keno choose kori why you are choosing competitive advantage because that con- that country is specialized in that product right less opportunity cost in that product so if that country is specialized in that product then what will happen oi country to oi product ta made korate mane making e hocche best tar hocche oi product ta make korte je give up korte se kom jinish give up korte hoy that country is giving up something less important by choosing that product tar mane ki ami je product ta choose korlam ba ami je amar country er jonno production er jonno product ta choose korlam ami oi product ta bhalo bhabe choose pari production korte pari ei jonno ami choose korlam onno jeta chhere dicchi seta less important ami eta kom pari so ami jeta bhalo pari seta jokhon ami trade ami jokhon seta niye kaaj korbo tokhon amar productivity bhalo hobe na ami tokhon eta beshi kore produce korte parbo to beshi kore produce korle ki hobe when i will produce more then what will happen i can consume for myself and i can go for trade for export so this is the sole reason why a country should like country should choose a product using competitive advantage a clear so the whole summary is competitive advantage eta amra keno porlam why we are studying this competitive and absolute advantage a country can have absolute advantage in many product like usa i give the example before right compared to bangladesh usa have absolute advantage in many goods 
but should USA produce all of these goods? No. USA should produce only that good that country have comparative advantage on. She is shop producer. He is producing everything for himself. So, he concentrate on He cannot concentrate in everything. He has to divide all of his inputs among all the products. All of the resources among all the products. So, what will happen? The production will be less. So, when there will be less production for each of the product, they can consume for themselves. But they cannot go for export. But if he choose only one product or two product that he has competitive advantage on, that will, that, then what will happen? He can trade those product with BD. Say BD is good in RMG. We are number one, number uh, two and it, right? In RMG. Germany, if you choose Germany, it is good in automobile. If Germany choose com automobile, he can, uh, Germany can also produce RMG. It can produce RMG but not as good as Bangladesh. So, Germany's competitive advantage is in automobile. If Germany choose automobile, Germany can trade from BD. Germany will give automobile to Bangladesh and Bangladesh will give RMG to BD, Germany. So, this will, trade will happen and what will happen? They will be specialized. They are doing best at they can. They are producing that product they are best at. So, when a country J product a best, she produce kore, then what will happen? Yes, they can produce more, so they can consume and also export. And Amra ethi, we want that export, we want international trade, export import. Amra uh, first yeah, the chi, right? Amra the chapter first half. We saw that is why trade is more important. For, from trade, gain happens. We saw that, right? So if we can relate that. Amra jeta aage dekhe chhiye. Amader chapter three first topic ke chilo. Je from trade we can gain more. E jonno yashule amader comparative advantage jonno jai amader product choose kora uchit. That's why we have to choose our product according to comparative advantage. Those who are new and didn't attend the first half of the class of chapter three, you must watch the video. If you don't watch the first half of the video, then you will not be able to relate it. Okay. So make sure you watch the video and in the next class you make questions, okay? So if you don't understand the chapter 3 content because it's a bit deep, if you don't understand chapter 2 then you will be not relating with chapter 3 and if you cannot, uh, if you don't know the chapter 3 fast half then you will not be relating to this one also as well, okay? So your homework for today, go home, then see all the previous videos and then come back to me and tell me what's the problem. And in a review class, I have missed last class, so I must take a makeup class. So that I will be taking as a review class. In that review class, I will discuss chapter 1, 2, 3, that area. In that area, we have the problems only, okay? So the problem areas only. Clear? So, Jotu took paren, bujhen, achke, baki took, ami abar, repeat korbo. So not to worry, okay? Next. Okay. Uh, next. So you go through the slides, okay? In the slides, uh, the examples I have given here and shown, that's already discussed in the slides. So my slides are already in detail. So you don't have to worry about reading books, but if you do, then you most welcome. That will be good for you, you can know more. But my slides are enough, okay? If you go through it, then you will understand everything. So go through the slides. Okay, already discussed. Next, next, already discussed. Discussed. Okay. So in every of my slides, I give some quick quiz. So these are the mainly sample questions for your exam. In your finals, these kinds of questions might appear. So uh, try to solve this question at home. I have already given assignment, chapter one, two, three, these quick quizzes and exercise. In the slides, you will have to write it, handwritten. Okay. Submit it by 23rd June. Yeah, I have already given a notice in the group and those who are not added in the WhatsApp group, we must add, okay? WhatsApp group, you must add in the WhatsApp group. I will repost the notice again. So, June 23rd, those who don't understand the previous classes, let me know. I will take a review class so that you can finish the assignment by time, okay? So, what do you first quiz? Read out and 
see if you can relate with my lecture these questions mm ekjon read out anyone so the input is same but output is different right what is good is opportunity for the best one which what is bad is who has an actual advantage catching that means i wanted to know who has opportunity cost in catching fish friday or cruzo ki mona hai dekhe friday can uh, can catch two fish in per hour and cruzo can catch one fish per hour compared with with the coconut when you will be comparing absolute advantage you need two products right so cruzo coconut and fish and the his friend friday coconut and fish cruzo can gather 10 coconuts and catch one fish in one hour on the other hand his friend friday can gather 30 coconuts and two fish ki mona hai opportunity cost फिशे कार Robinson Crusoe 10 coconuts and one fish right one fish and 20 coconuts right 30 and two fish then what is the opportunity cost for Robinson Crusoe for fish or friday for fish Thirty. Two fish. So who has absolute among Robinson Crusoe and Friday? Who has absolute advantage in catching fish? Shabai Friday clear. Among uh, between these two, Robinson Crusoe and Friday, who has absolute advantage? Uh, who has less opportunity cost in catching fish? The first question. Who has less opportunity cost in catching fish? If Robinson Crusoe catch one fish in one hour, he is giving up ten coconuts, right? But if Friday catch two fish, then he is giving up thirty coconuts. So which is better, or which is Friday Robinson Crusoe? अखंड देखें, absolute advantage तो हम लोग कौन टा देखी? Who have absolute advantage? Friday has absolute advantage both in fish and both in coconut, right? Ekhon dakhen second question ta ashen. Bola hocche the competitive advantage. Who has the competitive advantage in catching catching fish? So to know the competitive advantage, we must identify the opportunity cost, less opportunity cost. We already know Friday has absolute advantage in both. But should Friday produce both? No, because we said we want trade. Trade is better. So he cannot produce both for himself. So, अख़ोन Robinson Crusoe कौन टा choose करा उच्चे दर Friday कौन टा choose करा उच्चे? What should Robinson Crusoe choose and what should Friday choose? Who has competitive advantage in what? Friday choose fish. If Robinson Crusoe give up ten coconuts for one fish, that means he is losing more, right? So he has less opportunity cost in fish. He, if Robinson is his friend, Friday is giving up fish. He is giving up thirty coconuts for two fish, but he is catch, good in catching fish. Then Robinson Crusoe. Robinson Crusoe cannot catch fish. He is only good at coconuts compared to fish and coconut. That's why Robinson Crusoe's opportunity cost lies in coconuts. It's his competitive advantage, and Friday should focus on fish. It's his competitive advantage, and he has low opportunity cost in catching fish. Clear logic, ta? जख्न को वेन उल नीड टू आईडेंटिफाई द कम्पेटिव एडभान्टेज और अपरचुनिटी कस्ट और एबसुलट एडभान्टेज उ मास्ट लुक एट द बोथ अफ द पार्टिस 
ট্রেডের কনসেপ্টটাও দেখতে হবে উই মাস্ট সি হাউ হাউ ক্যান উই ট্রেড ইন আ বেটার ওয়ে সো একটা কান্ট্রি যদি অলরেডি একটা তো বেস্ট থাকে দ্য রবিন সুর ক্রুসো ইজ বেস্ট ইন কোকোনাট দেন হোয়াই হি উইল বি চুজিং কোকোনাট ইফ ইউ চুজ কোকোনাট দেন দেয়ার উইল নো ট্রেড and he will be losing more fish than robinson crusoe he is only giving up one fish and he will be giving up two fishes that's why friday should choose fish it's same like the farmer and rancher ager example ta jeta dilam right so trade korar shomoy amader dui ta country compare kore tokhon decision nite hobe dui ta country product e pro compare kore decision nite hobe not only je o kon ta best pare oi country kon ta best pare so number 1 answer clear you will need to explain it and what is number 2 read out someone else number 2 the same draw a production possibility frontier for reading economics and sociology so you can point out these two two things sociology and economics find out the production possibility frontier and point out those first one and explain it then what is the opportunity cost of reading 100 pages of sociology maria if he pay, if she reads 100 pages of sociology then what is her opportunity cost so you have to find out on your own chesta karen try if you if you cannot then i will explain it to the next class okay but basha dekhen je eta solve korte paren kina next clear one and two one time already one i have already solved the two is up to you try to solve it at home if you cannot then i will explain it later uh jore kono beat bajacche mone hoy something i guess baire kothao gaan tane kono beat bhumikompa hocche na for sure ha not a earthquake so relax এখন দেখেন এখানে দুটা এক্সাম্পল দেওয়া আমি যে কম্পারেটিভ অ্যাডভান্টেজ অ্যান্ড হচ্ছে আপনার অ্যাবসলুট অ্যাডভান্টেজ নিয়ে এতক্ষণ ডিসকাস করলাম ওই ডিসকাশন থেকেই দুটো এক্সাম্পল ঠিক আছে সো হেয়ার দ্য টু অ্যাপ্লিকেশনস এতক্ষণ থিওরিটিক্যাল আপনাকে দেখালাম এখানে দেখেন এরকম সিমিলার কাইন্ড অফ দুটো অ্যাপ্লিকেশন দেওয়া সো ফ্রম দিস উই মে ফাইন্ড কোয়েশ্চেন্স ফর ইউ এক্সাম দিস টাইপ অফ কেস থাকতে পারে সো এই কেসটা পড়েন এখানে অ্যান্সার সহ দেওয়া আছে কেউ একজন পড়েন সবাই পড়েন সবাই পড়ে যে দেখেন আগে আমাকে কে অ্যান্সার দিতে পারে এভরিওয়ান ডিড ইট আউট and find out the answer you don't need to read out loud read it for yourself and here the answer is already given you need to explain it to me this case yeah read it out see if you can understand it if you can then you need to explain it in front of the whole class come on the answer is already given the question is given the answer is given just tell me if you can understand it or not and if you do then you need to explain it to me what did you get if you don't understand any word then you may ask the meaning of it so here we are talking about two person right one is tiger woods tiger woods he is a number one golfer one of the most talented golfer and he can also mow his own land lawn right so that means what he can clean off his own grasses mow his land so it said if he spend his hours two hours in mowing his lawn like cleaning his lawn then he will not have any money but he can clean it by 2 hours but in the same 2 hours he can do a tv commercial by doing that he will be earning 1000 dollars okay so here are two situations now friday grump is a boy next door he can do this cleaning of his lawn okay he can mow this lawn for 4 hours 
but he needs four hours. And in these four hours, he can also work at McDonald's and earn $20. Now, what would be the absolute advantage for Tiger Roots and Forest Grump and what would be the comparative advantage for Tiger Roots and this Forest Grump? Tiger Woods and Foreign Grub, right? Forest Grub. Two hours. I'm shortcut. Two hours, such a long morning, and four hours. Two hours. Situation taki kind of amount na. Tiger Woods can clean the lawn in two hours, but in these two hours he can also work in a TV commercial and earn ten thousand dollar. For Instagram, he can clean the lawn in four hours, but in these four hours he can work at McDonald's as well. If he, if he works at McDonald's, he can get twenty dollars. Economical ballen now. What is the absolute advantage for Tiger Woods? Tiger Woods as well. Yes? Absolute advantage. Sure? Compared to forest drum. Yes, absolute advantage. Absolute advantage, what did I say? With the same input or uh, less input, when a person can do more work, more output, right? So forest drum can mow the lawn in two hours, but for uh, tiger root, sorry, but forest grump need four hours. So absolute advantage, the tiger root have absolute advantage in uh, mowing the lawn because he can do it in two hours, but foreign grump needs four hours. Absolute advantage is all about less input, more output. So if we see the input, the input is two hours for tiger roots and four hours for forest grump, right? So in these four hours, he can clean the lawn, but tiger roots can only for two hours. That means absolute advantage for tiger woods is cleaning the lawn. But should he choose cleaning the lawn? Why? Because explanation time because tiger woods has comparative advantage in TV commercial. Why he has comparative advantage in TV commercial? Because he has less opportunity cost in TV commercial. Why less opportunity cost? Within two hours, he can clean this lawn, but he is getting nothing, right? But he, he, if he give up the lawn cleaning, then he can gain $10,000. So, TV commercial is his competitive advantage, and he has less opportunity cost in TV commercial. If he goes this, uh, like, let this opportunity go, lawn cleaning, then it is a less price to pay. But TV commercial is a high price to pay if you let it go, right? So, TV commercial is his competitive advantage. But absolute advantage is cleaning the lawn. Clear? Because with lower input, he is doing more than forest grump. And forest grump, if tiger roots pay more than $20, then he should clean the lawn or else he should go to McDonald's. Clear, right? Because the money price is not given for lawn cleaning. The forest grump in four hours can clean the lawn and also can go work at McDonald's and earn $20. If he is not getting any money within these four hours cleaning the lawn, then why should he? Because he has more competitive advantage in McDonald's, then he should go for McDonald's working there. And if Tiger Woods give him like $40 for lawn cleaning, then what will happen? If Tiger Woods give foreign grump $40 for cleaning the lawn, then then what will be the situation? Then what will be Forest Grump's competitive advantage? Going to McDonald's or cleaning the lawn? Bakira clear? Can you clean lawn? Forest Grump, input same. Input is only 4 hours. Within 4 hours, if Forest Grump work at McDonald's, he can earn $20. 
but if tiger woods give him 40 dollar for lawn cleaning tokhon nish ta ki hobe if he goes let it go mcdonalds then he is only giving up 20 dollar right but he is getting 40 that means this is good for him his productivity is with 40 dollar this is more right but if he is getting up 40 he is not cleaning the lawn that means what he is giving up 40 dollars for only 20 dollars so what are the total lab nine that why that's why the competitive advantage will be cleaning lawn normally amra dekbo je kun tate tar productivity beshi je jinish ta me choose korchi the thing i'm choosing i have to be good at it i have to have my productivity and that will be profitable for me as well then this will be my competitive advantage and i will have lower opportunity cost for example 40 dollar bad diye keno 20 dollar e kach korbe tai na that's why tar obosshoi 40 dollar er ha uchit karon tar competitive ekhane advantage ekhane she 4 ghonta time diye she 40 dollar pacche abar 4 ghonta kaj diye she 20 dollar o pacche so ami keno hocche 20 dollar nibo jekhane ami 40 dollar pacchi ami to ei kaj ta bhalo pari 4 ghonta ei jonno to ami ekhane 40 dollar pacchi beshi pacchi so amar obosshoi 40 dollar tai choose kora uchit ei jonno forest gram er khetre hocche যদি লন ক্লিন করে এটা তার জন্য কম্পারেটিভ অ্যাডভান্টেজ বাট টাইগার উড যেহেতু দুই ঘন্টা লন পরিষ্কার করলে সে নিজের লনে নিজে পরিষ্কার করছে কোনো টাকা পাচ্ছে না কিন্তু সেই দুই ঘন্টা যদি লন ক্লিন না করে সে বিশ ডলার হচ্ছে এই চল্লিশ ডলারের ছেলেটাকে দেয় আর নিজে যদি দশ হাজার ডলার আর্ন করে তাহলে তার জন্য এটা ভালো না সে দশ হাজার ডলার আর্ন করুক ওখান থেকে অনলি তো মাত্র চল্লিশ ডলারই ছেলেটাকে দিচ্ছে লন পুলিশ ক্লিন করার জন্য তার মানে কি টাইগার উডসে কম্পারেটিভ অ্যাডভান্টেজ কি কমার্শিয়াল টিভি কমার্শিয়াল করাতে দুই ঘন্টায় ওখানে বেশি প্রোডাক্টিভ ওখানে বেশি আর্ন করছে ক্লিয়ার Next, this is another example. That was be, um, between two people and this is between two countries. So see the example, it's already given, the answer is already given. Read out and see if you can uh, relate to it, okay? Hmm. Okay, read this example and see if you can relate this. The, the explanation I just, I have just given. This is between two countries. The previous example was between two people, Forrest Gump and Tiger Roots. And this is between two countries, US and Japan. So it's explained here why a country should go for trade, even if that country is better in everything. আমি এতক্ষণ বললাম না যে একটা কান্ট্রি সব কিছুতে ভালো অনেক কিছু প্রোডাকশনে ভালো তারপরেও সে কেন ট্রেডে যাবে ওয়াই আর কান্ট্রি শুড গো ফর ট্রেড ইফ দ্যাট কান্ট্রি ইজ গুড অ্যান্ড মেনি থিংস দিস ইজ দ্য রিজন ওয়াই সো দিস ইজ ইউ অল নো হোয়াট ইজ এক্সপোর্ট অ্যান্ড ইম্পোর্ট রাইট ইম্পোর্ট ইজ ওয়েন উই আর পারচেসিং সামথিং ফ্রম আউটসাইড অফ আওয়ার ডোমেস্টিক কান্ট্রি অ্যান্ড এক্সপোর্ট ইজ উই আর প্রডিউসিং হেয়ার and selling it to the other country right so that's export so you can they can bala hocche the two country one is usa another one is japan so usa they can uh, us and japan they both are good in food and cars producing food and cars okay so the american workers and japanese workers they both can produce one car per month So what is the input here? What is the input? Hmm? Input key, what is the input here? Input is one month, right? US worker is one month, right? আমাদের প্রোডাক্ট কি ফুড অ্যান্ড কার দুইটার ইনপুট কিন্তু সেম ওয়ান মান্থ সো ইন ওয়ান মান্থ ইউএসএ ওয়ার্কার অ্যান্ড জাপানিজ ওয়ার্কার ক্যান প্রডিউস কার বোথ ওয়ান ওয়ান রাইট দে ক্যান প্রডিউস ওয়ান কার বাই ওয়ান মান্থ বাট হোয়াট অ্যাবাউট দ্য ফুড দেখেন এখানে বলা হচ্ছে সো ইউএসএ প্রোডাক্ট টু টু পাউন্ডস ওয়ান ওকে সো হোয়াটস হ্যাপেন্স টমস ইউএসএ ওই এক মাসেই 
ফুড হচ্ছে টু টন প্রডিউস করতে পারে বাট জাপান ওই এক মাসেই হচ্ছে ওয়ান টন অফ ফুড প্রডিউস করতে পারে বিকজ ইটস সেট ইউএস এর ক্লাইমেট ইজ মোর গুড দেন ফর প্রডিউসিং ফুড দে হ্যাভ সয়েল লাইক ফার্টাইল সয়েল দ্যাটস ওয়াই দ্য ফুড ইজ বেটার গ্রোয়িং দেয়ার দ্যাট ইজ ওয়াই ইউএস ক্যান প্রডিউস টু টন অফ সো ফুড ইন ওয়ান মান্থ অ্যান্ড জাপান ক্যান প্রডিউস ওনলি ওয়ান টন গো টু দ্য নেক্সট স্লাইড নাও হোয়াট হ্যাপেন্স who have the comparative advantage in what us have comparative advantage in 2 tons of food sure us a comparative advantage in 2 tons of food and japan japan has a comparative advantage of car sure one car not food then so you get it right as us have more fertile soil and they can produce more food than japan then they should produce food they can also produce the same amount of car in same time right but as usa is good in producing food their comparative advantage lies in producing food but on the other hand japan is producing the same one ton of food and one ton of car but he is producing less food than usa so if japan continues producing food this is no good for him because they cannot trade right it's not good for that country japan they cannot trade so compared to usa japan has comparative advantage in in car if you produce car he can trade car for food so it's clear how we choose comparative advantage in real world so depending on comparative advantage a country will choose what product or which product to produce for that country and that country should go for producing only that product clear so amader mainly eta bujha gelo competitive advantage absolute advantage and opportunity cost and how it's all related to trade amra ekta chile keno porlam why we read, read this chapter today because we wanted to identify which food to produce for which country how a country makes decision which product to produce for that country oi decision ta kibhabe nay how this their decision are made the decision are made based on competitive advantage and to comp- no competitive advantage we must understand opportunity cost and absolute ad- advantage that's why we are reading the whole thing out clear so that's all for our chapter 3 Okay so here is also two quizzes related to those two examples i just given us and japan and the tiger woods and foiled grams so the, these are related with that the first quick quiz see it's talking about a brain, brain surgeon suppose a skilled brain brain surgeon also happens to be world's fastest typist should she do her own typing or hire a secretary why you already know the answer that she, uh, that brain surgeon should hire a, a typist right secretary but you need to write it according to competitive advantage and opportunity cost and absolute advantage okay so term gulo bhabe kore likhte hobe so when you explain you need to explain according to competitive advantage according to absolute advantage and according to opportunity cost okay and the second one is the same choose a person a given example in which one person has absolute advantage in doing something but another person has a competitive advantage you can make up the example you, it can be between two friends or two countries or two person producing something anything apni nije ekta example create korben we will make a one example where a person will have absolute advantage over another thing and a competitive advantage nijer moto kore table ta dile better if you use the table it's better to understand টেবিলটা দেখলেই হচ্ছে একবারে বোঝা যায় এক্সপ্লেনেশন এত পড়া লাগে না বাট টেবিলটা না দিলে এক্সপ্লেনেশনটা হচ্ছে অনেক পড়া লাগে সো টেবিলটা দিলে আপনার জন্য লিখতেও সুবিধা হবে ফার্স্ট ড্র দ্য টেবিল আউট অ্যান্ড দেন এক্সপ্লেন ইট উইল বি ইজিয়ার ফর ইউ গাইজ অ্যাজ ওয়েল নাহলে পরে ভুলে যাবেন নিজেই মিক্সড করে ফেলবেন যে কোনটা লিখছিলেন ওকে দ্যাটস ওয়াই আই গেভ ইউ দিস দিস অ্যাসাইনমেন্ট ডু দ্য অ্যাসাইনমেন্ট দেন ইউ উইল আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড হাউ টু রাইট ইন দ্য ফাইনাল এক্সাম সো ওয়ার্ডিংগুলো বুঝতে পারবেন ওকে সো থ্যাংক ইউ দ্যাটস অল ফর টুডেস ক্লাস any question video call here go stop